Alright, um, welcome back. Uh, sorry, it's moved. Yeah, uh, sorry. Um, just redid the, uh, you know, outline so you could see Turkogen a bit better. Um, yeah. By the way, your antivirus must be off when you create a server. Otherwise, if you put that back on and try and save it, you'll get that. And then you'll get your antivirus saying, oh, I don't like that. So you've got to turn your antivirus off for 15 minutes just to do the video. And the, ser uh, the settings you want is, uh, I'll tell you which you, you want to give it a username. For my one it's YT for YouTube. Uh, then you want to come down and just click here, stealth mode. Right, and then you want to click restart when server is. So you just want to click that. If you want, um, if you don't want the person that you're sending the virus to to be able to backtrack and you know get rid of your server, basically they will be able to get rid of it. Um, but if you don't want them to have their system restore points, so if something does go wrong, there's no way of them going back in time, basically, with their computer and fixing it via system restore point. So you click that if you want, but I'm not going to click it because I'm going to run it on my other laptop. Anyway, uh, copy with old file data uh, date. Uh, basically, that's what it does. It copies an old file date so your computer and you believe that it's been there for a long time and it's meant to be there. But you click that. Melt server when run. Basically, it deletes itself when it's run but it leaves the server on there it's just it's not where it was before so you click it and then it disappears but it's still it runs in the background so click that and you want to click copy server to PC and you can leave that the same and auto start um, and you can leave that the same you can give it an error message basically if you want to give it an error message you click the red one with the X like that uh, this is for a warning uh, this is for a warning, this is for information, no th this is for information, this is asking you like what happened basically and then make up an error so error in capitals if you want and then you cannot uh, use this software due to invalid serials, invalid serial and account information um, remember grammar you need grammar and stuff because you've got to make it believable yeah. please con uh, tapped your system admin I straight on yeah uh, probably spells uh, please check your spelling because I think I spelled that wrong but yeah and that's what it will look like error makes the noise and everything got that and it says you cannot use this software due to invalid serial and account information please cost contact your system administrator yeah I spelled administrator wrong I think and they close that and they're like oh well so yeah uh, if you, want, uh, you can do anything you Cannot use this because you're a twat. Yes, I put a bit of you are instead of y o u r. Error. You cannot use this because you're a twat. It's fucking moving now. <laughs> Lol. But yeah. Sorry about that. I got a bit bored and I just started clicking test. <laughs> yeah. Alright, anyway. Then you come down to here. You can use Icon Hunter, which gets all the icons on your computer and puts them in one place. Into a folder. Like, copies them all and puts them into a folder. And uh, this uh, is just so you have a folder to pick icons from. But, um, yeah. But it's a program that you need to download, so and it does cost, I think, and I can't be asked to go look for a serial. 
But anyway, I go here and then just go my computer and then local disk program files uh alien and then just pick that one that's the little icon and then save as youtube.exe and if you did it right it will come up as that and uh it saves it on my desktop where i told it to so okay close that down minimize it no oh, wait close your bastard okay um why won't you close? Wow, this this is gay. I'm trying to make a tutorial and it's playing up. Uh, hold on. Still got loads of these left, isn't it? All right. There we go. And uh, I don't really have anywhere to put these on. Uh, that side. Anyway, as you can see, there is my icon. Uh, effectively called YouTube. Um, I'm now going to put this on my other computer and um, hopefully film from there and bring the clip back over. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is part two. And in part three, I'll show you how to use it. So yeah, keep watching.